morning guys. I am super randomly in Amsterdam today. A couple days ago, one of my friends from back home messaged me and was like, hey, I'm gonna be in Amsterdam for work. I was in Brussels. I was like, I'm gonna come meet you. And so, this is Kyle. Hey guys. He's letting me sleep in his hotel room for a couple days and we're gonna go explore the city, but unfortunately, it's a little rainy out. We're still gonna have fun. Kyle just told me that it's his birthday today. <laughs> so happy birthday to this guy, and we're gonna go celebrate by taking a trip to Amsterdam. Yeah, dude. So it kind of stopped raining enough to where I can have this camera out. So we'll see how long this lasts. The good camera. The good camera that's not waterproof. Kyle used to work in Scotland, so he's been traveling around and knows this area way more than me. So it's kind of like traveling with a local. Yeah, definitely local. Slash, we're still using Yelp and Foursquare <laughs> and Google yeah. to figure out where we should go. But maybe we have a local meetup in our future. We'll see. Ooh, Ooh. subscribe for more. This is what moving day looks like in Amsterdam. This is actually really cool because usually the people showing me around are like this tall <laughs> and now you're taller than me. I'm really hungry. Yeah. On these things, I'm always just hunting for food. <laughs> yeah, you're always hungry. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, we found food. And then we go and look around and I'm like, let's go get lunch now. <laughs> found a bagel shop. We were finishing up breakfast and we saw the sun popped out, so we tried to hurry outside and it's kind of, the sun went away again. It's not here anymore. But it's not downpouring currently. No, it's trickling. Amsterdam birthday adventures continue. <laughs> We're trying to find a museum, but then we found a park, so we're walking through it. And it's really pretty. European parks are on point. Travel tip from Kyle Wade, you go to the museum's gift shop, investigate, and see if you actually wanna see the real stuff. It's like a preview without having to buy the ticket. You're welcome. So we decided off the preview that we're just gonna wait for it to come out on Netflix <laughs> and skip the theatrical release. We found a Banksy museum, which is kind of weird because it's street art, but now it's in a museum. But it's way easier to just go see it in a museum instead of wandering the streets trying to find Banksy pieces. We'll see if we're allowed to film in it. Mm -hmm. Might have to be sneaky. one of my favorite art museums I've ever been to. And now that we're significantly more cultured than we were before, mm. I want to go stand by the cliche Amsterdam sign. <laughs> okay. That video? We're done. Yeah, that's video. <laughs> It really started pouring. We found a Heineken umbrella. Beer shelter. New friends. The sun's coming out and it's making me very happy. We found the flower market. It's a blooming good time. Oh. oh, yeah. I need to bring this guy around more often. Yeah. We 
got pulled into a sum sum shop, which is like a Middle Eastern dessert, and it's grind sesame seeds with sugar and water, and it's pressed into these like cakes. And supposedly, it's like one of the really healthy desserts because there's just like no dairy, there's no gluten. It's really impressive. It's really good. Those are really tasty, and I'm all about the free samples. We found this really cool cafe that actually started off as a thrift store. So all the things in here, including the table and chairs and door, you can buy. But then they sell us coffee as well. Kyle doesn't drink coffee, so he had water. <laughs> I had juice this morning. I was informed that it's very traditional for the Dutch to have bread in the morning and afternoon. So a really common Dutch lunch is to have bread with cheese. And then this one has a little bit of tomato too. That sandwich was so good that the owner of that cafe, David, suggested we go check out the bakery where they source all the bread. And it's not too so far from here. We're going, we're going. Carb loading, you know what we do. <laughs> We finally made it to Hard Dogs. This is the place where they buy the bread at the restaurant that we had lunch at, and it tastes amazing. They've been baking bread here since 1896. It's family owned, and they actually grow all of the grain they use in the bread in the Netherlands. They grind it, they have a mill here, they grind it to make the flour, and then they bake all the bread right here. And if you want, you can come here and learn how to bake bread with them. Owner here, Fred. See you in Amsterdam. It is very good. If you are ever in Amsterdam, come taste the bread here. Maybe take a baking class with this guy. It's very cool. Thanks for letting me check it out and show me around. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go sweet. Those swings were some high performance stuff. Very like high. they're like the up the up top part. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> the, part. <laughs> the part where the chain connects to the thing that goes across is a bearing. It's not like just a swingy chain thing. So it's like. <laughs> it's, it's really fancy. <laughs> Well guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you want to follow along more closely with my day-to-day -day travels, where I am exactly, go to my Instagram page and I post Instagram stories with what's happening in my day-to-day -day because I know it takes me a little while to get these videos posted. I try my best. Make sure you subscribe. Happy birthday, Kyle. Thanks, guys. <laughs>